I want to talk about this because there are still people that don't know and are concerned when they see Lucy and she can't walk as well as Kenzo. As you can see from these two pictures pigtailed macaques have longer slimmer legs, compared to the shorter and more huskier leg of long-tailed macaques. This is the reason why pigtailed macaques as infants take longer to develop strength in their legs. Long-tailed macaques will start walking within a few days. Pigtailed macaques like Lucy can take up to a week. As for a hybrid, this can vary based on the infant's genes. I'm not at all surprised to learn that Luna is the new Libby. They do this by playing on people's emotions that don't know or understand macaque behavior or development. They achieve this by using titles that are wordplay at best or outright exaggerative. They also use thumbnail images of infants seemingly being harmed or in distress. In Luna's case specifically, they are already planting the seeds to make their audience dislike Rainbow, by indications that Luna loves Rainbow more than Lucy. Here are the many titles and thumbnails that these VOs are using to misinform people. How Mom! Luna press on head on her Lucy on the stone. My tear drop. Mom Luna left BB Lucy on ground because Luna want BB to walk. Breaking moment Katrina and Luna family aim to switch Kenzo and Lucy, tiny boy fall in love cute. It's very sad, Lucy falling down from high, young mother Luna less care. Mom Luna, please don't leave me alone, I'm so worries now. Poor baby Lucy has furious frenzy with mom Luna that force her to learn. So pitiful baby Lucy. She cry while her mom try to pull her out from nursing. Oh, mom monkey Luna is teaching her baby to go technically wrong. Oh what mom monkey Luna stop her baby Lucy get milks. Beautiful newborn pigtail run fast to hugging little monkey for help. Adorable Luna hugs Lucy and Rainbow in same time and Luna really love RB too much. Poor newborn baby Lucy is angry at mother Luna. OMG! What will happen to newborn Lucy when Luna hold baby upside down? Newborn Lucy is scared mom. God help! Luna run carry baby Lucy so fast escape big male monkey. Monkey Luna keeps her newborn baby Lucy away from milk bar for long. Why mother monkey Luna not pay much attention to her baby Lucy? Why are you doing this to your baby Lucy, Luna? So pity. Lucy begged mama Luna don't leave her alone and BB tried mama back to help help. Baby Lucy cries indignantly at Luna because her mother did not take her up to sip milk. Rainbow come comfort baby Lucy stop crying while Luna less cared of her baby Lucy. Oh ho! Pity baby Lucy so much, she cry loudly because mom Luna leave her, her alone. Exceptionally sad. It's a baby girl named Lucy that Luna has never cared for before. Lucy cried. How mom Luna keep her newborn? No, no. How mom Luna take care of her Lucy? Oops unbelievable when seeing Luna try to stop baby for milk like that, poor baby Lucy crying. Breaking new baby Lucy crying loud cause her lovely mom Luna threat her like this. As you can tell, these are very exaggerative titles and portray Luna as a bad monkey mom, and this is just the tip of the iceberg. There are many more videos with titles just like these, and a continuous large amount of clickbait being made daily. This is starting from the day Lucy was born. This is just like what they did to Libby. Now, I want to talk about the most egregious implications towards Luna and some of the footage of her. One, as you heard, was about Luna running from a big monkey male. Let's look at some of the footage from that video. Here you will notice Libby is panting like she was just running. The way she is holding her baby, in a picture would look cruel, but as you can see, Lucy can still breathe and Luna is only holding her lightly in place. There were many instances when Libby did this as well. So again, this is not unusual or cruel.
Unless this big monkey male is walking bipedal, hairless, and has a camera, I see and hear nothing else chasing after Luna. She certainly looks up at the ugly tall thing behind her when she stops running. Luna is holding Lucy upside down because Lucy hasn't gained strength in those legs, like I explained earlier. Monkey moms do this for better control of their baby. This way the mom can hold the baby close to her chest instead of reaching way below in order to control the dangling feet as she runs. Vios know this and yet they play dumb in their video titles just to get clicks. There have been numerous videos showing Lucy falling from rocks. Let me just say, if I had a cookie for every time a baby monkey fell, I could build a mountain. It's not that uncommon. But anything to over-exaggerate the treatment of Lucy. This is another thing they would say and do to Libby as well. In my opinion, they seem to be distracting Luna way too much and this may be the reason Luna appears less attentive. But to show you it's not uncommon, here is some instances it happened to other babies from different moms. Macaques get their teeth at two weeks old. This is when moms will start dietary weaning. However, if a mom is stressed or hungry she may reject the baby to nurse. To me Luna looks like both here. However, I don't think she is rejecting Lucy like the VOs are trying to portray. This stress was once again another thing VOs caused Libby to endure with Rainbow. Luna isn't quite to the point as Libby once was. She's still feeding Lucy regularly. There's no problem for a mom with a newborn to want a break. Lucy is looking healthy and developing just fine in my opinion. Here you will see Luna leaves her baby on the ground alone. This was the same thing Libby was doing with Brady when the switch with Rainbow occurred. Libby was only a very short distance away from Brady. So many people blamed Libby to be a bad mother because of it. I've said from the beginning, this is to encourage them to learn to walk and was not a sign of neglect. Watch Lucy do a great job getting to mom.
For these VOs to say Luna loves Rainbow more, is to say Luna completely neglects her own baby's needs for Rainbow, and as you can see, that isn't the case. She is nursing her baby while giving and receiving a groom. The bonds these monkeys make are for survival and not just an emotional attachment. For as long as I have been paying attention to these macaques in the Savannah troupe, Luna has always enjoyed snuggling with babies. In my opinion she sees Libby and Rainbow as higher ranking and therefore, she feels the need to protect Rainbow. But she also protects the other babies within the troupe too. This in my opinion puts her behind Libby and Rainbow in their developing hierarchy. In a way, she reminds me of my favorite monkey in the Amber troupe, Kara. Kara is high-ranking. She's respected by the mothers in her troop and therefore they allow their babies around her. I see this as being Luna someday. Here, Libby and Katrina establish that Katrina is higher ranking by allowing Katrina to mount on top. These videos make me happy to see. This shows me that what I thought would happen is in the works. In normal form troops, females stick together as a group of moms, protecting each other and their babies. Libby is taking those steps to form that alliance. Watch here as she's now being able to slightly groom Kenzo. She also gently grooms Katrina's leg and at close reach to Kenzo. This is to establish this trust between her and Katrina. This gives me hope that in time and if all goes well in this regard, these females will be the top three females of the Savannah troupe. 